All right, so I'm gonna do a quick garden update. It's been a minute. The tomato squash zucchini bed is insane. I'm just now gonna get to trimming these tomatoes and getting them work, uh, into this trellis today. I'm way far behind on that. Um, I did harvest some zucchini yesterday. I'm probably gonna cut back some of these leaves on these as well. They're just already taking over the bed so much I gotta trim these and prune them because um, we still have like three months of growth. I spent about three or four hours yesterday picking grass out of the beds. This is the only bed I haven't done. I did the middle two beds. This one, that one, and the far bed over there picking grass, and man, yay, gardening in Oklahoma with grass in your beds. But I think I, get, I did a pretty good job of getting it out. Um, yesterday I was able to harvest some stuff. I har harvested some collard greens, some Swiss chard. I got some kale. I got some okra. And then I got zucchini. I got some pickling cucumbers and i got our first eggplant eggplants down here yeah i got our first eggplant japanese eggplant it was right off this plant right here this biggest this biggest one these things are really starting to grow in that one looks like it's falling over a little bit i need to get some bamboo and stand it up now the pepper plants because of how much rain we've been having i think they look like utter crap personally um, but I think they will pull through. Um, I did spend time yesterday trellising up all of the cucumbers to get them really trained better. Oh, and I did harvest some jalapenos yesterday and some sort of banana salad pepper thing. Got some of those too. So we're starting to get some food. Um, there's another one like that right there. And more jalapenos. Uh, oh, and I got some beans, some uh, green beans off these little guys. These guys didn't do a lot. They stayed kind of stunted, but when I put them out, it just rained a ton. And the, and the weather's been all over the place. Um, one project I did do, which I did a full run through on TikTok, um, is potato buckets. So if you're interested in growing potatoes, in buckets go to TikTok. follow me and uh i do a 100 percent run through on how we got to this point hopefully we get potatoes we'll see not a lot going on this week we do we got a soil recommendation or soil test back and so we do need to uh re-amend and so we're going to do that this week and then huh, one thing this is interesting all of our corn is going to be stunted I don't think we're going to get any taller than two two or three foot at best. Um, I really think it was from the wind and rain just constantly beating them up. But they're starting to fill in. It just is what it is. And to be truthful, this was the first time I've ever grown corn. So I'm still learning. Oh, you little bastard. You little bastard. No. Oh, you're dead. Okay, you're mush. So IPM's apparently working. That was gross. Um, speaking of, I'm going to do a run-through video on our IPM um, in the garden. We're keeping it pretty simple. It is working pretty well, I think. I mean, we haven't got mold yet on the zucchini and squash, so which is pretty amazing. But our biggest thing is um, caterpillars of different sorts so but overall they haven't completely decimated us but like they got in the kale pretty good here and so I like I said I will be doing a video going through over our IPM it'll be pretty quick because we don't do a lot um, but we just stay on top of it and so far it's working pretty well and I think since the rains Hopefully we'll start calming down. Um, hopefully we can be past the moldiest parts of the season. Um, and I haven't really seen mold on the cucumbers yet either. So that's good. And I don't know what we're gonna do with these cause these are already, some of these are going up to the top of the barbed wire. So I guess I'm gonna have to run them across the barbed wire. 
And then from here you can see the tomatoes, that one plant's already to the first board. And so it's like four foot to the next board. So I feel like we're probably gonna have to try to finagle another board above that so that we can make it to the end of the season. Um, and even these determinant bush style, these are already huge. So I'm gonna do a video actually um, showing how we prune these out. I'm gonna thin these out some. We've got definitely some good production going on on these little guys. Um, but some of these, this is just like too thick. I'm definitely worried about mold and airflow. This corner I need to work on. So I'll be posting some videos showing what we're doing there. Going through that. I gotta go, yeah, I gotta go through and thin a lot of this out and get some of those squash that didn't grow and zucchinis that didn't grow. But that's really it. We're not really doing a lot. We're still doing one feeding a week of fish and kelp and possibly a compost extract. And um, we're getting ready to do the top dress and that's really it. We've got the irrigation going, um, so we don't have to worry about watering, although it's been raining like crazy, so we really don't have to worry about watering. Um, you know, the point is to get as much return with as little labor as possible. And it uh, seems like I'm pretty happy with everything. Stunted corn is kind of irritating. The pepper plants are irritating, but I can't make it not rain. So, anyways, be on the lookout for more videos coming from the garden. Um, and I'll go over some of the processes. And again, if you're interested in growing potatoes in buckets, go to our TikTok and look at that process. And um, I'll update again in a week or two out here and uh, show you what we've got going on in the garden then.